you use a visual uh, as a medium to do research that's therefore it's called a visual research and uh, wherein you collect uh, visual inputs uh, and you start using analysis tools to arrive at uh, possible solutions. So as we know, uh, research is a process. It follows several steps. Like initially the first step, you kind of formulate uh, the research question and sometimes you, you choose the field of study. In the second stage, uh, is all about engaging yourself in collecting information directly, indirectly, doing uh, several uh, qualitative or quantitative exercise. In a third stage uh, is once you have ample amount of data, now you have to make meaning out of that data. You will start using analytical tools to kind of see certain uh, pattern. And lastly, uh, you synthesize uh, or uh, conclude or come up with solutions and uh, this particular exercise very quickly I want to share like what I did is that just to demonstrate how a visual research work I kept the simple uh, uh, subject area or a field of study which is like a face mask and initially I did uh, lots of reading uh, most of the research is a secondary research because it was locked down. I didn't have any opportunity to go out and do a real exercises. So I use internet as a major medium to do a research. While I was studying, I got many things, a fashion designer getting into a manufacturing masks. And there are several brands, uh, uh, clothing brands getting into the masks or a medical mask. Why the fashion brands are entering into uh, uh, mass manufacturing so that's a that's a kind of uh, evolution in terms of mass aesthetic and then there are a bunch of uh, fashion designers who kind of harping on this particular um, trend okay so let me share with you like see for example here you can see clearly like I collected uh, images uh, and uh, once you uh, once you collect images, like it's a research, you're collecting information or data. And I wanted to use apply analysis tool called a latch. Uh, let me introduce the analysis tool called a latch. So you can clearly see the L stand for location, A stand for alphabet, and T stand for uh, a time factor and C stand for category and uh, another way you can organize your information on a hierarchy base. Uh, Latch is all about um, organizing your information on these five ways in which you can organize your information. So I would like to give an example how we are extensively using these five methods of organizing information. So let me directly get into those examples. So you can see extensively maps are using location factors in their uh, organizing information. When it comes alphabets, uh, a dictionary uh, extensively used alphabetical order or organizing their uh, data points. Time is another uh, aspect according to that you can organize your data and uh, the category which is very much evident whenever you walk into any tailor uh, shop you can see clearly uh, men's women's children clothing that's again uh, it's category extensively they used the hierarchy is another effective way in which you can organize information in some you can organize uh, the data point information on on the factor of location or according to alphabet or you can have you can bring a time factor into it or else you can kind of have categories and organize your data according to those categories 
or you can you can have a hierarchy or hierarchical way you can organize data so uh, in my exercise i followed the category factor to to organize my data and see uh, the insights from category as primary way of segregating or organizing this data so here you guys can clearly see some masks or medical masks some are like a little fancier design some are i believe like it represents some kind of organization or a, a, there's a country flag driven and a few of them have like high fashion brands and this is something if you see there's a lot of coordination between her dress and mask uh, similar thing you can see in the sense some people are using it as a fashion statement some people are it's become a lifestyle somewhere it become kind of coordination somewhere it's just a functional uh, it needs to be war it has got uh, whatever uh, medically approved uh, I'm not saying others are not medically approved, uh, but these are a basic mask versus designer mask versus pattern mask. So you can see, so I use a category uh, from the latch tool. So I categorize which are medical masks is one category, then a ramp walk or a fashion uh, is another category. Then I made the third category which is like luxury fashion brands are coming up with mask and there's another category which has got uh, going beyond boring monotone color uh, you break being very monotone to the pattern or a colorful mask so like that i divided into four categories so you can see the contrast so for example like in this case like it's much more basic and here you can see extreme what you call a fashion bit is happening these are nice decorative and here obviously these are driven by their brand uh, assets so you can easily recognize and after that like i kind of further look deep into it and try to see some uh, communication or uh, messaging or i wanted to create some visual communication or give some message i kind of went to two extremes and then i try to kind of connect these two extremes and here you can see that maybe in this context we can say this is much more monotonous there is no uh, caution to fashion and here I, I can see it has got uh, it's an accessory you can wear it and you're proud of wearing that so I took that contrast and then a thought came to me uh, you can clearly see this is all need based this is all want based you can see that clear factor here so therefore we kind of uh, traveled uh, from need to want and the further i was contemplating here if you look at it like extreme two uh, categories bringing together uh, in, in a fashion which is creating a complete image it it gives certain kind of a pictorial message uh, Louis Vuitton does any kind of initiative uh, uh, regarding pandemic or COVID related, they, maybe they would like to have these kind of identities which really represents a poster or a communication piece. They can play with this like this. And one more interesting thing. I, so yeah, now you can clearly see that like once you kind of, um, you kind of collect uh, data, visual data, then you i kind of applied a latch tool in that tool specifically i used category uh, factor and once i see the category then i started saying uh, meanings were emerging from this analysis which led uh, kind of portray contrast contrast in subject and uh, collective picture speaking uh, lot more than what an individual picture speaking 
and further i use love it in fashion and try to create some initiative if they are taking initiative what kind of communication piece they can create so visual research is essentially important to see uh, deeper layers and see newer possibilities or